what kind of world are we going to be living in Monday in terms of Europe than we are today? What's going to be the biggest change we're going to see? Well, I think the, the biggest change is that we're going to see a whole lot of uncertainty resolved. So in expectation, the change will not be dramatic in the sense that even though the populists are going to gain votes, there will still be a stable center based coalition. So center right all the way to center left. It is, however, more likely to include a third party grouping now than it was in the past. So you are essentially going to see a polarization of the European Parliament with populists holding around a third of the seats, perhaps a bit more, the rest being held by pro-European parties. There will still be a majority for a stable European Commission, but it will include more parties than was the case uh, in the past. So politically, it's not good, but in terms of stability of government in Europe, it's not going to be a disaster by, by a long shot. Uh, Maybe stable, Jeremy, but is it uh, inclined toward reform? We've heard from Mario Draghi and others for years now the need for European reform on any number of fronts, whether it's banking regulation or monetary policy, fiscal policy. If you have the result you just described with the Parliament, does that make that less likely to happen? Um, I, I would say it will. It, it won't be a great pro-reform environment. I don't think it will be dramatically worse from what we have seen, say, over the last year. So, so the fear of the populists has been a break on reform already. And to have this uncertainty resolved, to say in some sense, you know, what is the kind of status quo that we're going to live with in the next five years, you know, that, that there is some benefit uh, to that. So I think you know, any European Commission starts out strong. Uh, and I, I would think that simply by, being virtu by the virtue of being a new European Commission, you're going to see significant report proposals uh, at the beginning. Now, the political room for those proposals to go through are not necessarily better. I would expect uh, a greater chance on the non-euro area related reform proposals, so common security policy, common foreign policy, migration. That's, I think, where there's going to be uh, the emphasis and where there's still a chance that France, Germany, and some of the other countries might, might come together.